हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज रवि जांगिड असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग एस जयपुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कैथोड रे ट्यूब व्हिच इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज सीआरटी दिस टॉपिक इज रिलेटेड टू द सब्जेक्ट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स मेजरमेंट एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन फॉर फोर्थ सेमेस्टर ई स्टूडेंट्स द सी आर टी इज अ डिस्प्ले स्क्रीन विच प्रोड्यूज इमेज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द वीडियो सिग्नल इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ वैक्यूम ट्यूब विच डिस्प्लेस इमेज वेन द इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम थ्रू द इलेक्ट्रॉन गन स्ट्राइक्स एट द फ्लोरसेंट स्क्रीन इन अदर वर्ड्स द सी आर टी जनरेट्स द बीम एक्सलरेट इट एट हाई वेलोसिटी एंड डिफ्लेक्ट इट फॉर क्रिएटिंग द इमेज ऑन द फॉस्फर स्क्रीन सो दैट द बीम बिकम्स विजिबल CRT has many applications like TV display devices in radar and oscilloscopes generally oscilloscope we use CRO that is cathode ray oscilloscopes so we are going to discuss the use of CRT in CRO so let's begin with the brief introduction of CRO Cathode ray oscilloscope is a multi-purpose display instrument used for the observation, measurement and analysis of waveforms by plotting amplitude along y-axis and time along x-axis. They are also called as xy plotters. It means that they create a 2D image on the screen. On a single screen, it can display different signals applied to different channels. For example, the CRO we use in our labs has two channels channel A and channel B it means that we can analyze and compare two different signals at the same time on a single screen the central unit of oscilloscope is cathode ray tube and remaining part of CRO consists of the circuitry required to operate that CRT it means that CRT act, acts as a heart of oscilloscope so let's start with our topic CRT as i discussed earlier CRT is a display device which is used to observe and analyze different analog and digital signals. So when the electron emitted by the electron gun strikes the phosphor screen of the CRT, a visual signal is displayed on the CRT. And this signal or display is generated with the help of five different parts. Electron gun assembly, deflection plate assembly, fluorescent screen, glass envelope and base. So let us discuss each and every part in detail. Figure shows different parts of CRT that is electron gun assembly, deflection plate assembly, fluorescent screen, glass envelope and base. Here base is used to provide electrical connections through pins to different parts of CRT. Now the working of CRT depends on the movement of electron beams. The electron gun generates sharply focused electrons which are accelerated at high voltage. This high velocity electron beam when it strikes the fluorescent screen creates a luminous spot. After exiting from the electron gun, the beam passes through the pairs of electrostatic deflection plates. These plates deflected the beams when voltage applied across it. On one pair of plates move the beam upward and second pair of plates move the beam from one side to another. The horizontal and vertical movement of the electrons are independent of each other and hence the electron beam positioned anywhere on the screen. The working parts of CRT are enclosed in a glass envelope so that the emitted electrons can easily move freely from one end of the tube to another. Now to understand how electron gun generates a sharply focused beam of electrons, we have to understand the working of electron gun assembly. The electron gun is the source of electron beam. The electron gun has a heater, cathode, grid, pre-accelerating anode, focusing anode and accelerating anode. The electrons are emitted from the highly emitted cathode. The cathode is cylindrical in shape and at the end of it the layer of strontium and barium oxide is deposited which emit the high emission of electrons at the end of the tube. The electron passes through the electron in a small grid. This control grid is made of nickel with a centrally located hole which is coaxial with the CRT axis. 
द इलेक्ट्रॉन विच इज एमिटेड फ्रॉम द इलेक्ट्रॉन गन एंड पासिस थ्रू द कंट्रोल ग्रिड हैव हाई पॉजिटिव पोटेंशियल विच इज अप्लाइड अक्रॉस द प्री एक्सलेटिंग एंड एक्सलेटिंग एनोड्स द बीम इज फोकस्ड बाय फोकसिंग एनोड द एक्सलेटिंग एंड फोकसिंग एनोड्स आर सिलेंड्रिकल इन शेप विच हैज ए स्मॉल ओपनिंग इन द सेंटर ऑफ ईच इलेक्ट्रोड After exiting the focusing anode, the beam passes through the vertical and horizontal deflection plates. Basically, there are two types of focusing arrangement. That is, electrostatic focusing and electromagnetic focusing. Electrostatic focusing is used in CRO, and electromagnetic focusing used in TV. Our topic of concern is CRO. Therefore, let us discuss in detail electrostatic focusing. the figure shows electrostatic focusing arrangement for cro as we can see that the electron beam which is coming out of control grid is bit scattered now to focus this beam to the center of the screen we need a focusing arrangement in this focusing arrangement we use three anodes that is pre accelerating anode focusing anode and accelerating anodes the focusing anode and the accelerating anodes are coaxial with the pre accelerating anodes The pre-accelerating and accelerating anodes are connected to the same potential, that is 1500 volts, while the focusing anode is connected to a lower potential, that is 500 volts. On account of the difference of potential difference between focusing anode and the two accelerating anodes, a non-uniform field exists on each of the two ends of the focusing anode. The equipotential surfaces thus form a double concave lens. the electron beam entering the field at angles other than the normal to the equipotential surfaces will be deflected towards the normal and the beam is thus focused towards the center of the tube axis by changing the voltage of the focusing anode the refractive index of the electron lens can be changed and therefore focal point of the beam can also be changed the change in voltage is brought about by changing the setting of a potentiometer This control is brought to the front panel of the CRO and is mark focused. So at the end of the electron gun assembly we get a focused beam of electron. Now we have to deflect this electron beam in vertical and horizontal direction to create a image on the CRT screen and for that we use electrostatic deflection. Next part of CRT is deflection plate assembly which also uses electrostatic deflection. Electrostatic deflection is a method of aligning the path of charged particles by applying the electric field between the deflecting plates. The cathode ray tube uses deflecting plates for modifying the path of electrons. The electrons after exiting through the electron gun passes deflecting plates. The CRT uses vertical and horizontal plates for focusing the electron beam. The vertical plate produces an electric field in horizontal plane and causes horizontal deflection. The other pair is mounted horizontally and generates electric field in vertical plane and causes vertical deflection these plates allow the beam to pass through the deflecting plates without striking them the general arrangement of electrostatic deflection is shown in the figure the a and b are two parallel plates between which potential difference is applied these deflecting plates produces uniform electrostatic field in y direction the electron enters between the plates experienced the force only in the y direction and the electron will moves in that direction there is no force either in x direction or z direction and hence no acceleration of electrons occur in that direction this is how we can deflect electron vertically and horizontally to create a 2d image on crt screen now the last part of crt is phosphor screen on which we display our 2d signals the front of the crt is called as face plate the face plate of the crt is made up of entirely fiber optics which has special characteristics the internal surface of the face plate is coated with phosphor the phosphor converts electrical energy into light energy the energy level of phosphor crystal raises when the electron beam strikes on it this phenomenon is called cathode luminescence The light which is emitted through phosphor excitation is called fluorescence. When the electron beam stops, the phosphorus crystal regain their original position and release a quantum of light energy which is called persistence. So, this is how we can create a 2D image of our required signal by using electron beam on a phosphor screen. Thank you.